As UX designers, we know research is the foundation of great design, but traditional research can be slow, especially when we are trying to understand new markets or competitors quickly. No, AI can't tell us what problems to solve, but it can spark new direction, surface early insight, and a speed of exploration. The real value still comes from us, our curiosity, systems thinking, empathy, and ability to ask the right questions. In this video, I show you how to use AI, specifically ChatGPT, as a thinking partner for UX research. We'll walk through a real example and explore how to use AI for market research and competitive analysis. Today, I'm tasked with improving the job application experience on a career website. Think LinkedIn jobs, Indeed, or a startup's hiring page. I want to uncover friction points and redesign this experience, but this time I'll use AI to accelerate my UX research. Step 1. Explore the problem space using AI. First, I open ChatGPT and ask, what are the most common frustrations people face when applying for jobs online? I let AI scan collective user pain points across thousands of experiences, saving me hours of initial desk research. Here is what ChatGPT came back with, a clear categorized map of frustrations. Lengthy repetitive applications, non-user friendly application portals, lack of transparency, no confirmation or communication, automated rejections without feedback, keyword-based ATS filtering, unclear job descriptions, too many required accounts or logins, lengthy assessment without clear purpose, bias and discrimination concerns. I quickly got a rough map of user pain points. Now I can narrow in on a specific problem worth solving in the redesign. Step 2. Deep dive into a pain point. Now that I have a broad map of user pain points, I want to dig deeper into one promising area. I chose the lack of feedback after applying for jobs, because this isn't just a UX problem, it's an emotional one. Why is the lack of confirmation or communication after submitting a job application frustrating? What impact does it have on users emotionally and practically? Here is what ChatGPT returned, helping me understand the human side of this problem. Uncertainty and ambiguity Applicants don't know if their application was received or reviewed. They are unsure whether to wait, follow up, or move on. Lack of closure. Candidates invest time tailoring resumes, then hear nothing. They get stuck refreshing emails, unable to reflect or improve. Emotional impact. Creates anxiety and self-doubt. Did I do something wrong? Leads to discouragement and burnout. Practical impact. Waste times, delays planning, and affects life decisions. Breaks trust in brands. Poor candidate experience hurts company reputation. The lack of feedback leaves candidates in emotional and practical limbo, making them feel undervalued while wasting their energy. As designers, this insight pushes us to ask, how might we close this feedback loop in the job application experience? Step 3. Generate a persona. Next, I use AI to generate a persona to humanize this problem and align it with real user motivations. I prompted, can you create a persona of a mid-career professional who frequently applies for jobs and often experiences this lack of feedback? Here is what I got back. Maya K, 36, UX designer, Toronto, 10 years experience, applying to 5 to 10 roles weekly, actively seeking remote hybrid work. Her goal is land to a job within 3 months, avoid burnout during the process. Her frustrations are never hears back from most applications, no clarity or feedback, spends hours applying, feeling invisible. Her needs are timely updates on application status feedback on rejections, clearer application processes. Her quotes, I can handle rejection. Just tell me something. Silence is worse. AI gave me a persona with a similar background to me, which made it easier to empathize with Maya's frustration while keeping bias in check. If you ever feel your AI tool 
is giving biased output, you can prompt it to generate another persona with a different background. Personas like this help me define goals, motivation, and emotional context behind the problem, so I can design meaningful solutions. Now that we've defined the problem and our persona, it's time to move into competitive analysis and ideation using AI, all while keeping critical thinking in the loop. Step 4. Analyze the competitive landscape with AI. With a clear pain point in mind, it's time to explore how the industry currently addresses this problem. I use ChatGPT to help me scan the competitive landscape, asking what are some job platforms that try to solve the feedback problem? What are their strengths and limitations? Here is what I learned. Platforms like Ada, Himalayas, Wellfound, and Hired have made small strides in improving transparency, showing application statuses, and enabling direct messaging. But the core feedback problem? It's still largely unsolved unless employers take initiative. I can use this insight to identify industry best practices and spot innovation gaps. For example, no platform offers recruiter messaging templates or estimated response timelines, and many don't nudge employers to close the loop. Step 5. Ideate with AI Now it's time to generate design ideas using AI to quickly explore solutions worth prototyping. I prompted, based on Maya's frustrations, can you generate three design ideas that would improve the post-application experience? Here is what ChatGPT generated. Application status tracker, like a package tracker for job applications, showing clear stages and timeline. Automated but personalized feedback. Simple human-sounding feedback when rejected, helping candidates improve. Application heat map dashboard. Visualizes trends, follow-up opportunities, and what's working in your job search. These aren't final solutions, but they are great springboards. I chose to prototype the application status tracker and test it with users to see if it truly reduces anxiety and improves trust. Before jumping into prototyping, I always do a reality check. I asked ChatGPT, you mentioned timelines and feedback loops. Do you have any studies or evidence to support these being effective in improving UX or engagement? The AI summarized real studies and industry research that support this idea. And here are the highlights. Timelines and feedback loops aren't just nice UX touches. They reduce anxiety, increase engagement, and boost trust. This is where I switch from AI to real research and user validation. So yes, AI helped me get started. But now it's my job to go deeper, to test these ideas with users, gather real stories, and find out what truly works. Remember, AI isn't here to replace your design thinking. It's here to accelerate your exploration, surface blind spot, and help you ask better questions. But it's your empathy, curiosity, and critical thinking that turn insight into meaningful design. If you found this helpful, let me know in the comments or share how you are using AI in your UX research workflow. And if you like more practical content like this to grow your design skills with AI, consider subscribing. See you in the next video.